So today we're gonna to be reviewing the central hydraulic scissor lift that comes from Harbor Freight. If you don't know what a scissor lift is, it's basically a giant hydraulic floor jack. The pump and hydraulics are over here, pistons are there, and this whole thing lifts up uh, like a giant scissor, uh, as you'll see in this video. But I'm gonna walk through all the challenges I've had with this thing, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, it's not quite, it's a great floor jack. You just gotta learn how to use it and be prepared ahead of time. One example is these wooden ramps that we've added in to get the car up over this uh, jack. Our car's a little bit lower. So you'll see uh, we're gonna attempt to put the Chevy truck on this lift. And then down there is a black 84 Mustang SVO that we're gonna get on here as well. The only challenge with the scissor lift is you're gonna have this crossbar in the middle so if you're trying to remove a transmission or do some exhaust work, it might be in the way a little bit. But from what I read, a lot of guys have some techniques to get around this. Plus, if you pull your car in this way, uh, the front of the car is going to hang over this open area a lot. Um, as you can see here, you know, these, these come out. It's got these rubber pads for putting on the side of the car. Uh, plus, they slide forward. So you can get that car hanging up over the front. So I think transmission work will be, it'll be workable. Now these things will be in the way, the, the pistons, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. I don't take my transmission out every single day of the week. So as you can see here, my lift, lift height at the top of the rubber pad, is about 56 and a half, almost 57. Uh, so not bad. I mean, it's high enough. Um, I, it comes up to, my armpit. So I, it's not exactly like I'm gonna be able to stand up under this car or anything, but I should be able to sit on a, a seat, uh, like a roller seat and get up under the car and do, do the things that I need to do. Now, as far as safety, this does lock in. I don't know if you can see it here in the dark. Let me see if I can line it up. There are locks. And so as this thing is lifting up, the safety mechanism is locking this in place. And on the control side, there's a, it's like a little clutch lever, right? Which will allow me to, as I pull the lever, allows that safety to release. So to let this down, you know, you have to uh, pull that clutch lever. And then the other two controls on this, now this thing's full of oil, that's all the hydraulic oil. This is to lift it, right, and then this lever, you press down on it to drop it. Now it's gonna hit that safety lever. All right, see it just locked in there? All right, so I'm gonna lift this back up, take some weight off of that. And to lower this down, I would have to pull the lever, pull the lever and press the other one in at the same time. So. There's a safety mechanism in there. It makes it a little bit more difficult. So take a look. Uh, my buddy created these ramps. And it's kind of cool because he has a lowered Miata. And, you know, he made these stair-stepped ramps, 2 by 6s which I really like because uh, the SVO sits a little low, plus it has a 3-inch pipe hanging on the downpipe pretty low to get over this. Um, so if i got a lowered car, I'm going to be able to drive it up on the ramps, sit it up on top of this table, and off we go. So overall, really impressed. So for its very first lift, we're gonna try putting the truck on there because there's something loose in the front end. And I need to check the ball joints and tie rod ends and idler arm. So far, so good. We gotta watch the top. Let's see the balance. I mean, that feels <laughs> way more rock solid than jack stands ever would. 
Uh, let's go around the back. For all today, you know, I give the scissor lift definitely an A. It was a little hard to get the truck parked on here, but the lift lifted. The truck is rock solid. I mean, it's it's on there. It's not going anywhere. Uh, if it works on my truck, I guarantee it's going to work on my Mustang way better. Yeah, that's why I was watching. Once you put tension on it, it'll be away from the hoses. Yeah, just... Whoa, slide now. There we go. Look at that. Hold on now, hold on. Dude, you're like a freaking... <laughs> <laughs> You're like an artist. I think one of the bolts is catching on the wood. I think the bolts are snagged on the plywood. See these bolts down there? Oh, it's jammed in a little bit. There it goes. Oh yeah, about three more inches. Keep going. You're all right. That's just the wood crack. Yeah. You're good. That's, that's it. Well, I was worried about the center of gravity, dude. So it flips out of the truck. 